day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Amen. All right, let's pray. Father, thank you, Lord, for this opportunity for fellowship. I thank you, Lord, that this has given us some insight of your word and understanding. We pray, Heavenly Father, to teach us how to be move forward instead of backwards, allow us to be free from a bondage and receive the abundant life of Christ. I ask Heavenly Father, protect us between now and next time we meet. Father, protect us, deliver us, let us dwell in the secret yeah. place so that we don't have this virus come in our life or in our family lives. We pray, Heavenly Father, for our wives and our children. We pray for our friends and our loved ones. Pray for our country. Pray for the leadership of this country. We ask every Father all and be led by the Lord. We thank you, Father, all you're doing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jesus' amen. name. So, so now I want to throw you into the uh, scripture that we also covered today. I'm not gonna, I think what we covered already, but this is Numbers 13, verse 30. You ready to ride with me, brother? Yeah, I'm right. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take you down a trip here. And and I'm gonna give you a little background. This is when God sent the spies out to look at the promised land. Right. And when they went out to the promised land, they came back 40 days and said, truly, Al, they said, truly, this is a land flowing with milk and honey. And here's right. some samples of the fruits that come out of this land. It's a good land, right. but, but <laughs> there's some giants in that land. <laughs> That's right. There was some big and, giants up in there. Hey, hey, you said you're going to walk into the kingdom of God. You find out there's some giants in the land. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know what they sit there and tell you, come on, uh, the church, the church is open. The, 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 right. the doors are open for the church. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> some people come in and say, oh, some giants in here. <laughs> right. Because life takes you through some wilderness. Right. And even in the promised land, there's giants there. Yep. And, yes, and, there indeed. and therefore they sit there and say, we, we, we can't, we can't, we can't go in there. Now, verse 30, 1330. I'm bringing now brought you up. You know, you got the background now. You got the background, right? You had the background. Okay. So now, now I'm going to start at verse 30. Now, here's a man of faith. I'm going to put you in there. I'm going to put our name in there. Just, just to bring it to perspective. That may get you the feeling of it so you can flow with it. All right? It says, and Al steal the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. That's a man of faith right there. Huh? Right. That's a man that right. said, we are well able. We are well able to overcome it. We're well able to deal with those giants in that land. Why? Because we got God Almighty in our presence. And what right. I'm saying is, you remember, God followed them by cloud during the day and followed them by fire at night. So every night right. they can look up and they can see that God is with them. In the New Testament, the Holy Spirit came down on the day of Pentecost and dwelled inside of you who received him. Right. So God is with you, Al. And because he's with you, Al, and Ken, <laughs> yeah, and, you know, I think one thing about reading the scripture is to make it personal to yourself. You know well, I mean? uh, you know, you know, sometimes my brother, no. when we we sitting there and we we listen to the scripture, I've been I've been over in Japan and listening to the scriptures being read, and 
sometimes the scriptures just seem to call out. <laughs> call out a person. Uh -huh. I mean, just call them right out. I mean, call them out. Okay. You sitting there like you have sleep in the pool, in the, in the pews, <laughs> <laughs> or you up there behind the preacher in the choir in the pulpit, and you and you sitting there, and the preacher going through his speak, you know, going through his sermon that you done heard maybe three or four times, and then all of a sudden you see somebody jump up, and it's like oh, <laughs> and they hit him, <laughs> hands go up in the air. Next thing you know, they. They just got it. And you sitting there like, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. But didn't they come here before? Yeah, they been here several times before. Uh -huh. <laughs> the spirit yeah. just got them that day, you know. It became, so, it became personal. It became, it, it, that, it that became they personal. Put stuff in it. But it didn't, but but it didn't uh, but their name didn't get called out. Oh, yeah, that's all right. That's all right because but you know, it's still, it's still the significance of it being it. It became personal to where it's almost like it's almost like walking in the, you know, I've, I've seen where the preacher ain't even had a report from nobody about folks being at the club last night. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he goes to talk about, you know, we got some people who been to that club last night, right. and they up in here hooping and hollering. Yes sir. Yes sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, and, and then you, know, you start. Then you start seeing folks. Ow. Yeah, I got you. I agree. Because some people are doing some things. Sometimes the preacher themselves are doing something. Like, you know? and, and, and the reason, the reason why I would separate that from the, putting yourself in the word, right, is the fact is. That is the ungodly act. And that's not what God want to put you in a position in. He's trying to give you the position of the examples of the past of how I want to see yourself walking in faith. I mean, I'm saying pointing this out, this is putting you in a faith position. Right. And saying, I'm holding up the name of the Lord. I'm well able to deal with right. the giants in the land. And you right. want to be able to put yourself saying that. You want to see yourself. If I can see myself saying what Caleb says, then I can see myself saying that in this present day and time. Amen? Amen. I'm just saying that's but the we, but, but, yeah, I understand that. And I understand, too, we got a lot of human beings that we work with that just don't want to put themselves in a position where they're in a, a role of having a, a lot of faith. They want it to stay melancholy and they want to keep keep things, you know, I'm satisfied with getting, with getting, you know, getting my flesh in the morning and having, the, and having you know, the light follow me in the evening. It's just a whole bunch of human beings that are, uh, are not ambitious. Yeah, well, you know, really that's you. Another thing too, Al, is that they haven't really humbled themselves to 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 claim trusting in the Lord. You know what I mean? It's, right. It, it's easier to, if I keep my mouth shut, and if it doesn't happen, oh well, I ain't think it's gonna happen anyway. Opposed to saying, right. "Look what the Lord has done," huh? And it feels right. good when we say it that way too, opposed to, well, look what you have done. You know? Right. You, do you remember that song? Did y'all sing that song? Look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. He healed my mind. He saved me just in time. Oh, I'm going to praise his name. You heard that song? I heard it, but it wasn't sung like that. <laughs> but I, but, hey, look, go to the words. Don't worry about the, don't worry about the singer. Hallelujah! <laughs> the Bible said, "Make a joyful noise unto the Lord." And I like the fact that it said, "Make a joyful noise," because obviously, yeah. obviously, if it is that make a joyful harmony, well, all well, will be in trouble. <laughs> well, well, you know, a joyful, a joyful noise unto the Lord, and a sincere, and a sincere heart is 
<laughs> is welcome, of course, but you know, we don't want to run the, the birds back into the forest because of the way it sounds. You know what? I, I got to come back for you on that. You know, the Bible said the birds praise them, but he ain't going to beat my praise. The trees <laughs> praise them, but he ain't going to beat my praise. So if I run you back up there, you could, hey, look, I don't beat you in the praise. Because pra they praise him in the morning. Chirp, 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 chirp. chirp. <laughs> That's right. That's the tree, right. The trees lift up the branches toward the sun. But, but, but I, I will admit, I never remember hearing you sing much. <laughs> I, and, and, and it's a good reason for that. <laughs> Ain't no shame to my game concerning. Because I ain't singing it out. Look, I ain't singing Yes, sir. I ain't singing to you. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry that I'm sorry that disappoint you. <laughs> but but last time I remember, you ain't got the gate, you ain't got the key, you ain't got the interest point. You 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 can't even get me out of hell, man. I mean, what what? You never know. You never know. I can give, I can give you a word to, to, to make you think on your own to, to, to go ahead and get out of there. Where it's written, the Bible says, fear not him that can destroy the body, but fear him that can destroy the body and put your hell, put your body in the soul, put your body in the hell, your soul in the hell. And he was talking about himself. So right. I, I, I got a word that says it ain't you. <laughs> well, I understand that, and I, and I get that. But you do, as your as your brother. Yes, sir. I should be able to. I should be able to do like like that young man we were talking about that came back and gave that good report in the lane. Yes, sir. I should be able to tell you some things that can help you out. Yeah, you should. Now, whether or not you want to use them is going to be on you. I got you on that. I, <laughs> I can receive that. <laughs> I if you that. if you want to do them forty years, you do them forty years. Exactly. <laughs> well, you can say I'm well able. I'm well able to take this promised land, huh? Right. And that's what God is trying to tell us. We're well able. But let's hear what the rest of these jokers said. These are other people you're talking about. Let's see what they had to say. Al. Let me get up here and share. They said something different. Verse 31. But the men that went up with him said, we, look at this now, we be not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than we. Now, what's wrong with that statement? It shows a lack of confidence and faith. Exactly. Right? Because this is what the God, this is what God thought about that. Verse 32. And they brought up an evil report of the land which they have searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. Verse 33 is what I want to take notes for you on this. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were, look at this now, in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so were we in their sight. Two things we brought out of that this morning. Because at first I want to bring the scripture that, that needs to be in the heart of every believer is in Romans, what it says in Romans 12, 2. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by renewing of your mind. Right. If your mind see you as grasshoppers, then that's what you are, grasshoppers. Right. 
And and we sit there and say, moment and murmuring and complaining is, oh, I'm black, or oh, I'm poor, or oh, I'm from Oakwell. I, I don't have enough money. I didn't come from the right background. I don't have the right looks. You know, other words, excuses of right. how you see yourself opposed to how God sees you. See, you remember what the word said, but God says, I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. I'm a lender, not the borrower. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I am a royal right. priest and I am a curious people. I've been called out of the doctor and placed in God's marvelous life. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Right. Instead Amen. of saying, in my own sights, I see myself as a grasshopper. And worse than that, and so were we in their sight. Who cares? How do you even know what somebody else looks at you as? You know what right. I mean? Even though yeah. we know in this modern time, we know that people try to stereotype. But you sit there and say, I'm not receiving your stereotype. And I'm not receiving your definition of who I am. I am not, it doesn't matter what my color, it doesn't matter about my height, it doesn't matter about my looks, it matters about who he sees me as. Right. Because the people that see you differently, once again, they can't put you in the hell, they can't get you in the heaven, they can't make you righteous, they can't sanctify you, they didn't create you, they are not better than you, they're not God. Right. So I don't care about what they think. I don't need to conform to their image. I right. need to conform to the image of who God says I am. And I'm saying that's one of the beauty of the word itself is focus on what God says. We walk by faith, not by sight. Correct. Come on, bro. And that's why I got out of that scripture we talked about this morning. In fact, this man. Why, why are you worrying about what somebody else is saying? Why are you worrying about what somebody else is thinking? And why are you thinking other than his will? Right. Because that's why he gave us the Lord's Prayer. Thy kingdom come. Who what? Thy will be done on earth right. as it is in heaven. His will. If his will for you to be promoted, if his will for you to move to another location, if his will for you to be in, in a mansion or in a regular house, that's his will, and you be content with it because you'd rather be where he wants you to be than to be someplace you can't handle. Right. Amen. Exactly. Come on, bro. So so that's why they gave an evil report. And mm -hmm. that's what we covered today. Because I don't think we covered, let me make sure. And because maybe you can join us Thursday, or we'll cover it next week. This scripture okay. right here, we, we read already. Remember that? We read uh Corinthians, I think we did. Let me see. Yeah, Corinthians. Yeah, we read that. We read that one. And and the one that we stopped, we didn't go into. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, we did go into the last. Uh, we read one through four <clears throat> is what we read. And uh, we closed with that. because That's what we covered today. And okay. it says here. And all the congregation lifted up their voice and cried. And the people wept that night. And all the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron. And the whole congregation said unto them, Would God that we had died in the land of Egypt? Or oh, would God, we had died in this wilderness. And wherefore has the Lord brought us up into this land? Why God, why he, why did he get me saved? <laughs> why, why did I become a Christian? Why, why, why a Christian? Why, 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 why? What did it bring me? What, what did it bring me to be a Christian? And, 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 and to fall, look at this, and to fall by the sword that our wives and our children should be praying. Were, look at this, Al, this is the worst piece of it all. Were it not better for us to return to Egypt? 
uh, oh, mm. was it not better to return to bondage? Because we mm. if we bring it up, if we bring it up to modern day 2020. Let me get off this slack. I want somebody. I want them to see us, Al. I want them to see us. I want them to see us. I want them to hear us, Al. Was was it wrong for him? Was it wrong for us? Do we need to go back to bondage? Do we need to go back where where was where Negroes and and Negroes and Caucasians and anybody else can can put us and knock us in the head? What 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 was, 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 was it was was it better to go back? to be it what the world call you to be than to be who god calls you to be and the point is that that's what the issue is they are wanted you know i was looking at this story before and i asked myself why why did you want to go all the way back why couldn't you just try to rebuild a life for you in the wilderness if if that's what you're concerned about the promised land Right. Well, why couldn't you try to build a life and improve your life instead of going all the way back to Egypt? And that's what we do sometimes in our life, right? We slip, we backslid, we backslid all the way. We don't go, we don't go back halfway. We want to go back all the way to the bondage, all the way back to the 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 the, the things that we didn't like in the first place. The children of Israel, they used to get beaten. They 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 sitting there talking about going back to onions and leeches, and, and that's another scripture, but they forgot about the whips, Al. Right. They they forgot about building and making straw without or making a uh, mortar or brick without, without straw. Straw. Mud. No uh -huh. straw. So they had right. to go and get it themselves because they they the 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 taskmaster decided that they were too busy or too no not too busy but too got enough time on their hands they right. want to go out and pray they want to go out and worship so we're gonna go ahead and make them go get the straw themselves but they 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 want to go all the way back out we want to go some of us want to go all the way back to being a drug addict some of them want to go all the way back being you know some of the people I, you know that prison ministry i go to and i saw some of the people i'll say how 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 many of you been in prison before? And before that, I asked them, how many you want to get out? And then I asked, how many y'all been there before? And Al, I think, I think, uh, I think we in the 90 percentile. And I asked him, I said, then you lied to me because you can't tell me you want to get out. Because you were out. And you came back in. Well, it's, you know, I work, I spent two and a half years working in a correctional facility and I've seen, you know, it was a minimal correctional facility, but I, I got to see the whole gamut of folks, type of folks come through there. Yeah. And I did the administration processing. And one of the things that stuck out to me one, uh, one day was I saw two prisoners and they hadn't seen each other and cut the chase. They hadn't seen each other in five years, five or six years. And both of them came back to the prison and you would have thought they were frat brothers. Man, they, that's they were in the yard hugging and saying, man, yes. what, you, what are you back here for? What are you back and, here for? So and no, oh, man, I did something and got off probation. And the other one was, oh man, I, I stole something and I'm back here. Yeah, but I'm. I got how many years you get? I got two. How many you got? Three. Well, we'll make the best of. We'll try to stay in touch. And I'm like, yeah, these dudes are acting like they friend brother. Come on, man. I'm <laughs> telling you, yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, Lord, have mercy. I will <laughs> never want to have that kind of mentality that I want to come to no prison. Come on, <laughs> you now. And and I'm comfortable when I get in there having to yeah. deal with. Well, the, all they have to deal with, right? Because it just ain't it just ain't they fellow prisoners that uh, you know they have to deal with. They got to deal with the the system the way it's set up. They yeah. have to deal with the officers every day, you know. So it's the staff. So you you got to be on your p's and q's or have try to have some sensibility. And I think 
some people just get comfortable in there. I like, I remember when 9-11 happened, I had a, a friend of mine, he, uh, he kept calling me and calling me and he, and he, and so I got through, he got through to me and he said, Hey man, uh, a building, a uh, plane ran into one of the towers. In my mind, I'm thinking he, he's referring to a, not a jetliner, but something like the Empire State Building with King Kong back in the day. One of right. those little sets in the plane yeah. that ran in there. <laughs> and it, you know, it, so I said, he said, man, you need to go check it out. I'm like, this can't be that big a deal. And I just happened to show up when that second plane slammed into that building. And I wow. said, oh my God, there's wow. going to be a war. I don't know when it's going to happen, but we getting ready to go to war. Mm -hmm. I don't know who they're going to blame. And it was a prisoner standing right there beside me in the day room. And uh, I said to him, I said, well, it would look like we may go to war. So you ready to get out of here and go help with the fight? He was like, man, I plan to stay here as long as I can. I don't want to go back. I'll, net, I'll, net, I'll just stay here. Right. He didn't, want I, to go, he didn't want to come out to freedom. Nah, he didn't want that freedom no more. No. If I, as, as he told me right there, he was shocked when he saw it. And But he was... You know, it's a lot of people who just look at it as a place that if they follow the rules and they're fed, they can slide through the through the stuff that folks call the bad stuff. They can get a you know, they can get away from that. Unless right. of course you go to one of those high level security prisons, then right. you're talking to hold the whole ball game. Exactly. You know, but, exactly. Um, yeah, and that and that's so. a point and, and that's what I'm saying with the children of Israel. They were making it remember I said they they are the examples, well, right? And we see it, and that's what you see is people who always want to keep going back to bondage, go back to you know, like if you any addiction they had, they want to go all the way back. There's no man, right. you know, and and and, and uh, that's what God called murmuring, complaining. You complaining about it, but you keep going back, and that's what they wanted to do. So we're gonna wrap. Let me finish this up so we can wrap it up. I think we did good timing too. Uh, let me see here. Don't put that in there. <laughs> Don't uh, put that on. <laughs> the what? What'd you say? Don't what? You still there? Yeah, you see me? Oh. What? Yeah. Oh, well, I see you just put some back on the screen. Yes, sir. Yeah, look. So he said, uh, let 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 us go back into the where you know, uh, where am I? You know, at first uh let us return. Were it better for us to turn return unto Egypt? And they said to one another, Al, let us make a captain and let us return into bondage. I thought that was interesting to say, let us return into bondage and make a captain. And I uh I sat there, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it off. Are you reading it? You finished reading it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take it off. We're gonna wrap up now because that's where we stopped at today. Is that Al? I I talked to a Jewish friend of mine one time. He was in the military. I don't know where he's at in life now, but I'm pretty sure he retired. Um, and I said, you know, this is the funny part. I think, what what would the person look like that will march people back into bondage? I I, I keep seeing myself. They walking with a flag of surrender and marching straight up to the enemy and saying, whip us, beat us, do whatever you want with us. We were wrong. We should have never left. And then I can see the enemy say, let the beatings begin <clears throat> and beat every last one of them and put them back to work that same night. Get back in the field. Make sure you're ready to put those bricks and that mortar together. Build those tombs, those pyramids. Huh? You see what I'm saying? All right. He's like, what, yeah, what, I see what you're what, saying. What does that person look like that would well lead the way to bondage? And yet they said it was better 
to return back to Egypt than to go into the promised land. I would surmise that uh, the Egyptians would have certainly thought it was a trap, a trick. Yeah, a they trap. I think they would have killed all of them. Yeah, they would have. They would have taken them all out. I can, I you know, I could not see them accepting them back after all those plagues, after all those other things that went on, and right. And uh, oh yeah, they he said, just ain't going through that no more. Right. <laughs> right. He's going through that no more. They, they, we're going to kill you. And they probably kill every last right. one. Especially when you're talking about the whole army. That I guess most of the army died, was destroyed. Right. And the reason yep. they were putting them in bondage is because they were getting bigger and growing more in population than the Egyptians. So you're not going to let them right. come back into your land because they're something to do something to you. You know what I mean? But right. that's what, the, and don't forget the devil himself to go back and bondage. He comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. And that's why we don't want to go that way. Amen. Amen. So, what do you thought about the study? It was good. Pretty Amen. good study. Amen. Pretty good study. Yeah, because like I said, I like the part where we bring it, make it personal, uh, or at least try to inject ourselves in it. You know, because it's all meant to be an example for us. You know, right. So I appreciate it. I hope you'll be able to try next Sunday. I will redo the invite because it looked like this. Uh, uh, I had to do it on fire. What do you call it? Firefox? Because Explorer, something, something happened. It's not taking Explorer no more. Mm. So I'm going to have to redo the uh, invites and stuff like that. Okay. All right. Well, let's pray out, Al, if you don't mind. And I'm going to pray I'll out. Mind. Now, I can invite you to pray if you like to. Ah, uh, you got it, brother. You got it. All right. <laughs> and, 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 you know, anybody you invite, we will at least make sure everybody have an opportunity they want to. But we're not going right. to force it on anybody to read right. or to pray. Amen? Amen. But we do want to make sure. I don't know. I mean, you know, maybe they can tell me from the beginning, I don't want to read. I don't want to pray. I just want to listen. <laughs> I'm going to say, okay, amen. Just don't let this stuff, don't let the video end. And you say, man, that brother was talking all, all the time. He was talking because you didn't want to talk. <laughs> hey, look here. We know you like to talk, Kenny. But that ain't that <laughs> I, You know, it is the good news. And I think a lot of people like to talk about the good news. You ever, went, you ever go when you won the Super Bowl? Your team won the Super Bowl? Right. I, I think you talk. <laughs> huh? you, you, you couldn't wait to call somebody. Or you couldn't wait to go to the office the next day and say, <laughs> peace out. You know what I mean? Hey, basketball. Hey, World Series. Hey. <laughs> oh, don't forget politics. We won. You know? <laughs> I mean, put the stickers all over the cars and all that stuff and, and uh, just pee people off. The all world's right. The world's a loss anyway. So, anyway. Uh, we'll pray out and we'll set it up again. I'll send a new invite out so we can get it through the uh, the uh, the other route. But uh, we'll see if we can try to get Bobcat next time. And you got any other Hopewell people that you know? No, I don't really. You know, I see them on Facebook, but not in person. I don't, you know, I don't talk to a bunch of folks in person. Okay. I, every now and then I'll get a call from a cousin or two okay. on the phone and or email and I'll email them back, but okay, you know. Well, you can invite anybody if you ever want to, but if not, we good. You and I can fellowship. We go back to 1968, I think, but we go back a long way. Right. And uh, you know, we talk about the word is eternal. So it's good enough if we practice it now, we'll be good to go when we get up there on high, amen? 